Welcome to my YouTube tutorial on how to set up XAMPP on a Windows operating system. XAMPP is a free and open source cross-platform web server package consisting mainly of Apache HTTP server, MySQL database, and interpreters for scripts written in PHP and Perl programming languages. XAMPP is basically a local testing environment which you can use to test and develop PHP scripts before you actually upload it to your website. It can also be used as a home server. So let's jump straight into it and I'll show you how to install XAMPP on Windows. Let's head to Google. Next, type in XAMPP. Hit enter. The first website should be apachefriends.org. Click on it. I'll leave a link in the description. Scroll down until you see XAMPP for Windows. Where you see the download, click on XAMPP. Select the .exe package and then download the file. Once you have this file downloaded, I already downloaded it on my desktop so I'll exit. You should get something like this. This is an installer package, you want to double click on it. Click on run. Click on install. Now the installation process can take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and when it's finished installing I'll join you guys back. Okay so now that XAMPP is installed um, you'll get a command prompt screen similar to this. Now any options you select in here are basically self-reference but I'll still take you through the steps. Now it asks you if you want to add shortcuts to your desktop, why for yes and for no. Should I locate XAMPP paths correctly, why for yes. And should I make XAMPP portable, no. Select N and hit enter one more time. And then hit X and that's it. XAMPP should be already installed on your computer. Okay, let's drag that out. Now let's test it out. You, sh you should go into my computer, local to C, XAMPP. You should have a new folder that says XAMPP. Look for a folder that says htdocs. Now any files that you, or PHP scripts you make, go into this folder. Um, so let me just create a new folder and call it my site. And let's make, let's open up notepad. And I'm going to make a simple PHP script. Let's save the file. Now, where do you want to save this? Is in htdocs, my site. Any file you make must be in this htdocs folder. Save as all types. Index.php. Save. Exit this. Okay. Okay, so I've created my simple PHP script in my my site directory. Now, what you need to do is start up your XAMPP control panel. Now, if you did not create any desktop shortcuts, you want to head to C drive, XAMPP, scroll down until you see XAMPP control. It should bring you up to a screen like this. Where you see Apache, you want to click on start. You see running, that means you're set up. Now, let's test out our simple PHP script that we made earlier. What you need to do is set the localhost backslash directory name, which is in my case, my site. So I'll go to local 
host backslash my site. And as you can see, you see that simple PHP script that I made earlier. Now, anytime you want to test PHP scripts, your XAMPP control panel has to be running and Apache has to be running. If I click on stop, and then I refresh this page, it isn't going to work. This is going to be trying to refresh. And I'll give you back that same page. Let me just show you that. Uh, as you can see, it didn't respond. The server did not respond. That's because XAMPP wasn't re wasn't running. If I click on Start, on the other hand, once I have that running, type in localhost, hit Enter. It connects me with my server. Now that's just a simple tutorial on how to set up XAMPP. Um, Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing tutorials on how to make .ht access files, PHP, MySQL databases, and all the different types of stuff. Um, games, pretty much anything that I can think about. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.